Hi there, Scorpio. Hi. Hey, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we're going to take a look at the middle of January for you, roughly the next week to 10 days. We're going to see what's going on, maybe what's coming at you, and see if there's any bits of advice that might be helpful. We're using the Enchanted Dreamer deck. Two of Wands is just popping out at us. We might use the Sacred Earth Oracle or the Quantum Oracle. So let's take a look at what's going on. Two of Wands, making plans. Whoa, that's just a little too many. That's a chunk. But the Flash, Ace of Wands, just so you know. Let me shuffle these up once more. Okay. Scorpio, Two of Wands, making plans, being inspired, figuring out whether it's the world beyond or the world close by that's the most important to attend to right now. Okay? This seems to be at the center of the read. I was thinking that there would be like three, 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 but I'll take the read how they come. You have the Ace of Cups coming out. I mean, literally just as I was holding the card, it just slid right out. So these are the things that are highlights. This is how you're feeling now and highlighting or underlying that is the Ace of Cups. There's an overpouring of love. There's a lot of emotional time. This is an emotional new start of something. Um, look for support around you. It's the Ace of Cups. It's a wonderful time and opportunity for relationships to grow. You also have the Six of Wands. This is the battle victory. It's a, it's a small victory, bigger than the four, but not quite at the ten or the king, certainly. This is when there's people around you who want to help you succeed. Don't forget them. Those who are close to you, who love you and want to help you, they are there and they want to celebrate your victory. They want to celebrate your accomplishments and what you're doing. So be aware of that, Scorpio. You're going to have time in this week where... Um, you're feeling maybe pulled in two different directions and not sure which to attend to. But get centered emotionally and you'll have the support around you to achieve and finish what you need to do, however that might look for you. All right. Whoa, okay. Those three really stuck out. So what are we looking at here, folks? Okay, we have community support around you again. Coming up is nurturing and supportive friends that want to help. You have this Ten of Wands. So you might have something coming up or this feeling where you're kind of overwhelmed, but you're near the end. Then you have the Ten of Swords moment where you feel like you're absolutely toast, done, over, finished. And this is in reverse. The thing that doesn't get highlighted that should more on the Ten of Swords is that a new day is coming. You can see the sunshine in the card here. And she's feeling like backstab, treachery, things have finished, things have ended. Well, something needed to end. It's not going to get any worse. There is sunlight shining through and a new day is coming. But it might feel pretty treacherous, I think, for a little bit. Um, it might be tough. You're finishing something out that is to do with home family work. And it's been kind of tough. And you're feeling tired and worn. And it looks like there's a new start to something, but I'm not quite sure what yet. We're going to keep with this deck here. And whoa. Whoa. Knight of Cups. Somebody's offering a gift, a surprise, um, just something that's unexpected from a place of love, from a place of the heart. This could be the Knight of Cups offering that very ace, that big emotional support energy that you want. Then you have the King of Cups. Now he fell out sideways. The King of Cups, um, he's very emotional, nurturing, supportive, but when he's sideways, he's... Um, more talk than support, and maybe a little bit too caught in his own emotions to really do good on ruling in the details. He comes on his side, so we're going to take this for what it is. Um, when the king is in his good element and feeling his best, the love just overflows. He just wants to share and give and back whatever he can that's helpful to nurture and to provide for. So... Next one out is the Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of tens. Okay, Ten of Pentacles coming out. This is a card of inheritance. The Ten of Pentacles is when you've reached a point where you're supporting your family, you're doing well, and it's way past the laying of foundations. Your resources are around you. Um, things are growing, fruition's coming, and legacy is happening here. There's more established than just the beginning basis. This is legacy type stuff. So that's what's going on. I guess I would say around you. So we're going to take a look at the Sacred Earth Oracle and see if there's any other insights that we have for you to help you out. Insights for Scorpio. You know what? I'm going to give these guys a shuffle. 
These are big and they're tricky to shuffle, but we're going to do it anyway. There we go. There's one. No, I don't think so on that one. That corner's popping. All right. Okay. These are the lessons that are the big lessons for you coming up. It's next week to 10 days. Lessons in discernment and balance. Okay. So the discernment is making choices that suit you best, seeing the beauty around you, appreciating what's nearby, appreciating the gifts that you have and those who are there to help and support you. The balance is when you have forces at odds, like you have wands and cups a lot in here. It's mostly fire and water that you're trying to balance both of those energies. How do you flow and move forward at the same time? How do you push ahead without getting overwhelmed by emotion? Instead of having a tug of war, see if you can figure out how to bring things in harmonious balance. It does take discernment. You will feel tired and worn. You feel, will feel maybe at your end of your rope and just like, ah, oh, I can't, can't go on. But then will come the balance. Let's see a little bit more in here. One other thing for you to remember or focus on in the next week to 10 days for Scorpios. Whoa, okay. Center. Okay, well, that pretty much says it. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to find your own center. That's where the happiness and the reward will be. Okay? Hopefully that you can see that pretty well and get an idea of what's going on here. All right, that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. Let me know how it resonates. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come again. Bye, guys.